Hello, everybody. I'm Jeffrey Tippett. I'm an MET major here at Tennessee Tech, and I also minor in aquatics, which has to do with today's topic of effective freestyle stroke when it comes to survival. So, swimming in general and also freestyle is so, so important because from an article I read by RJ Reinhardt, 55% of people in the world do not know how to swim. 66% of women do not know how to swim. And also in 2019, 236,000 people died from drowning. 236,000 people did not know how to swim, and so they drowned. And this is mostly children. This is adolescents. So learning how to swim, especially at an early age, is so, so important. So today, I'm going to be talking about freestyle and the main points of freestyle that will help you improve your swimming and hopefully help you to survive or become a better swimmer. So I'm going to be talking about head position and the bounce, the flutter kick, the rotation in the pool, and also, also I'm going to be talking about the extension, so extension of the stroke. So as you can see here, her head position, she's looking straight down. Her head is in line with her body. It's in line with her spine. And her hips are up. Her body is flat on top of the water. That is how we want your stroke to look. This is perfect body line right here. All right. Now, let's say her head was up. She's looking up. If her head is up, her hips are going to sink. They're going to dramatically sink. So instead of swimming like this, you're going to be swimming like this. This is more efficient, this is less efficient. So we wanna be swimming like this the whole time, a nice straight line. Next, I'm gonna be talking about the flutter kick. Flutter kick is also very important. It's what helps keep your hips up and it's also what propels you forward. So the flutter kick, everyone thinks it's knee driven. It's not knee driven, it's driven from your hips. All right, now, as you can see here, his toes are pointed. He's not driving the kick with his knees. He is driving with his hips. It's like a whip motion. You're creating a nice whip. All right, that is what we want. That is what creates a very powerful and also efficient kick. The next, I'm gonna talk about the rotation, the pull. As you can see here, this lady, when she's pulling, she's rotating. She has one shoulder out of the water, one shoulder in the water. That is a perfect rotation, all right? That's what we wanna see, that nice rotation when you're swimming, all right? Also, as you can see here, she got that early vertical forearm. That's how we wanna pull, that nice early vertical forearm. This is perfect, perfect pulling and rotation technique. I will say that again, this is perfect, this is awesome. If this is how your pull is and your rotation, it's great. Next, I'm going to be talking about the extension, the extension of the stroke. This is, this goes in line with your pull and also your rotation. Now, the extension is that nice reach, all right? We're going to reach out and we're going to grab as much water as possible. With grabbing that water, that's going to pull you over, all right? That's going to pull you and help you create all that momentum and move you forward, all right? And it's also what creates the efficiency in your stroke. With a great extension, a good pull, you're going to take less strokes and you're going to be more efficient. That's what we want. Efficiency is key. So in summary, your head position and bounce, your flutter kick, your rotation, your pull, and your extension are all key factors to being really good at freestyle. And if you're good at freestyle, that will help your survivability even greater when you're swimming. A lot of people do not know how to swim, nor do they know how to swim effectively. And with that, it is very dangerous if you do not know how to do that. So learning to swim and swim effectively, so, so, so important. So in conclusion, I think learning how to swim and swim effectively and correctly will help you survive. And if we can get people in the world to learn how to swim and swim effectively, that 236,000 people that drowned in 2019, it will get less and less and less per year. And that percentage of people who don't know how to swim will also get less and less. 
Now here I have some things here like USA Swimming, nearby aquatic clubs, summer leagues. Those will help you learn how to swim and become an even better swimmer. And also there are classes at Tech that will help you become a swimmer and help round your swimming. All right, it'll help you become a much better and more confident person in the water. Thank you.